brands need a face now. You know, brands need, you know, um, KFC had the Colonel, right? The, they want a face, right? They want a face. They want to know who they're buying from. They want to know personality. Do I, do I blend well with this person? Um, are, can we be friends, right? Like, that's so important. A lot of people, they want to use logos, right? They want to hide behind their logo. You can't hide. The, those days are over. You need a face. You need to show up as yourself. There's a lot of people who are afraid to be on camera. There's a lot of people who uh, don't feel comfortable. But all I can say to that, the only way that you can get over that is to just continuously do it over and over again. John Ferrara is the Instagram man. He helps entrepreneurs create raving fans, position themselves as an authority, and engage with their ideal clients using Instagram. Now, here's your host for the Entrepreneurial Vibration Show, Sandy Viter. I started daily vlogging on Instagram stories, which I'm, I personally have never seen anybody else do. The reason that I'm doing that is to not only challenge myself, but to help myself be more comfortable in front of a camera. I freak out every time I'm in front of a camera. My heart starts uh, beating fast. I get mine too. I not see it. But it's so true. The more don't tell you, anyone. Don't tell anyone. But mine too. <laughs> I've said this so many times. It's so nerve wracking. But yeah. To the where you know if you force yourself and you just you know just, like i said earlier a little bit outside your comfort zone just every day every day you're not you're, you're going to continuously grow yeah so that's why i started doing that to, to 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 make a piece of content to make a video every single day that allows me to not only be creative but to go outside my comfort zone and to really uh deliver a lot of value to my to my followers and that's exactly what a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners need to do as well they need to show up and they need to be authentic and they need to start really cultivating and creating real relationships. It's so important. So do you have any daily routines? I mean, you just watch my stories. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number one, it's non-negotiable. I have to go to the gym every single day. Um, I was overweight as a kid. I suffered a lot with uh, body dysmorphia and all that stuff. Um, so I really, uh, you know, going to the gym is very, very important to me. Um, it's, it's helped boost my confidence and my strength. And I feel that, you know, it, it used to be a, from a physical aspect and I've shifted into, you know, the health aspect of it. Um, so that's number one, first thing in the morning. Uh, I also listen on the way to the gym. I, I live with these things in my ears, <laughs> uh, as some sort of audio book, something good. I like to dump something good into my brain in the morning. Usually I try and do it. Uh, when I'm more or less half asleep still, just so, you know, I can really my, saturate my subconscious mind. Um, right now I'm reading um, The Master Key System by Charles Honnell. Uh, great book so far. Um, so that's what I do in the morning. And then after the gym, I just shower and I just get right to work. And, you know, I'll, lately a lot of what I've been doing now is uh, documenting my day and sharing it with people like you've been watching yourself. And I think that what I've noticed, which is really cool. And I love I, the whole thing throughout the day. Like, Hey, this is yeah. the morning do, 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 do all right. the way through the day and the right. end of the day. Right. Yeah. And I'm bringing you in on my day. And my goal is to make you forget that you're watching a vlog or, 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 or a story, but more like a, a movie of yeah. life. Right. That's my goal. Pretty cool. And, yeah. Thank you. And, um, I think that, that, uh, doing this and documenting your life. And, and that's why it's another reason why I really recommend everybody do their Instagram stories. They don't have to do some high production story, but what I do recommend is that you actually document your day because I was remembering a lot more of my day when I started recording and, and, and uh, creating these videos. I, and my day seemed longer because I was, I'd, it'd be like nine o'clock at night and I'd watch a video that I recorded at 7 a.m. And it felt like <laughs> years ago and the days seem longer and you feel like you have more time and, yeah. um, and, uh, yeah, you remember more. And I think that if your life is worth living, it's worth recording. Right. So I always recommend, Oh, that's nice. Thank you. I always recommend you do, you, you keep a journal and another great thing would be to, to share it with, with everybody else. You know, there's no better way to, to demonstrate who you are authentically than to, you know, bring everybody along with your day. You don't have to be so uh, personal. You don't have to be as personal as I do. You don't have to show them your family or, or, or daughter or son or, or family members or anything like yeah. that, but enough that makes you 
just a little bit uncomfortable maybe, right? <laughs> but enough that you're going to at least show up every single day. You should save that quote. I love it. If your life is worth living, that was, that was Tony Robbins. Oh, is it? Is it Italian. really? Uh, <laughs> it's, darn it! <laughs> All right. Well, we're here towards the end of the show. And you know, as all my shows, you get this one chance to talk to this camera, this mic, and obviously to all the entrepreneurs that are watching the show and to give your one piece of advice. What would you say to them? You have to do something that you really love. And I don't just mean that, you know, intellectually or emotionally. I just mean it in every aspect of your life. If you don't love something so much, then you'll never follow through in a way where you're going to give it your all. You need to believe in yourself. You need to, you know what, that's probably the one that I'm going to go with. You need to believe in yourself above all else. That, that idea that you're worth it, that idea that it's, it's what you have inside of you is more than enough to accomplish anything really that you, that you would ever imagine in your life where Knowing that you've been through these hurdles, knowing that you've been through the, the darkness, knowing that you've been through anything that's brought you down comes always in a seed, an equivalent seed of opportunity, an equivalent seed of um, prosperity. And knowing that just on the other side, if you continue to push through and you just you know, never give up in what, you, in what you believe in, you will ultimately succeed because failure will never be failure unless you accept it as failure. You can fail over and over again, but as long as you keep getting up and as long as you keep moving forward and as long as you keep believing in yourself, you're going to eventually get there. And there's no other way. It's a law. It's a law of nature. It's a law of universe. <laughs> no matter what, you will succeed if you never give up. It's a law. You have to. Amen. If you are here, I will be giving you a huge hug. So here we go. A virtual oh, hug to you. Hug, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing it with me for the second time. Thank My you pleasure. for giving me the opportunity. Thank you, everybody, for joining. And I just love your energy. I love you. what you're doing for everybody. Keep shining. Keep helping everybody. Keep giving. And uh, keep going for the stars. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now we would love to hear from you. Tell us on the comments below. Was this advice helpful to you today? And how can you put some of what you learn into practice right away to start to see a difference in your entrepreneurial journey? Also, don't forget, if you found this podcast helpful, make sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button so we know to make more podcasts like this one.